Today is Monday. Vaughn and I took Sunday off from the internet again, which I think has been very helpful and it feels so nice to have an actual day off from work and a day off from the internet too. So these are a few things that I've gotten um, for review lately that I'm wearing for my outfit of the night. This really beautiful plaid shirt. I guess you could kind of wear it as a jacket too, like I am right now, but this was gifted from Shein and then this really beautiful super soft turtleneck that was gifted from um, an Amazon seller. And then my necklace here was gifted um, several years ago too, but just lots of neutrals, browns, and beiges. And this is really snuggly and warm because it's cold here in the house today. Today is Tuesday, now evening, Tuesday evening. And this is my outfit of the day, these basic black leggings, and then this sweater that was gifted a few months ago. And then I decided to finally wear my new moose necklace that I bought from eBay. It's sterling silver and it has this little moose. Reminds me of Bullwinkle that I got out of a vending machine with a $5 bill. He, he actually had a $5 bill stuck to him as well when I was a child. So that is a nice, reminds me of that memory. And I think it's also appropriate for the winter, um, a moose. I think that kind of works out for winter. And I thought it went pretty well with this top as well. And then I'm wearing my new turtleneck underneath that was also gifted. So I'm nice and snuggly and comfortable. Wednesday evening and this is my outfit of the day again this really cute Christmas sweater that was gifted from a Romway and then these green leggings that I bought a while back from Walmart they actually kind of match pretty well and then my little moose necklace again I'm having fun wearing that I think that really is perfect for the holiday season so yeah I haven't really been able to do much else other than the outfits of the day because it's just too cold to do much else in the rest of the house I'm not really feeling a lot like decorating or anything this year because of that. We're gonna have a few warm days coming up though, so maybe that will change. We finally got around to bringing out our Potter's Garden collection, and then also these that we got from Roses a few months ago that look very similar to Potter's Garden that was originally from Kirkland's, right, Vaughn? Yes. And then Vaughn has himself some uh, mocha, and then I have just some regular coffee. But we do have a rather cute collection, at least we think anyway, of these mugs. Some of them we got, um, a lot of them we get from thrift stores, most of them I think. And then this is part of my Christmas set that I got for my birthday a year or so, I think two years ago. The red ones, they're from 222 Fifth, and they are, I think Christmas Lane is the brand, is the, I mean, is the design. And then of course they come with the plates and everything else. It's now Thursday evening and you'll probably have already seen this particular sweater on my Romway Christmas and Holiday Sweater Haul, but this is my outfit of the day. I found these leggings that kind of matched and I think this one's really cute because it's colors that you would not normally expect for Christmas anyway, but definitely this could be used all winter long, definitely like a winter theme with the trees and the snowflakes and the little animals. I don't know what those are though. Is that, what do you guys think those are? Those like bears maybe bears i'm just not sure and i'm wearing once again my little sterling silver moose that reminds me of bullwinkle i've been wearing that a lot so i guess that was a good purchase from um ebay this one's a vintage one i did see a few others like this though um and this one's like 25 dollars and it came with a necklace, but I'm very happy with it. I polished it because I like the more silver look than the um, oxidized silver. So I polished it and gave it a good a scrub, and now it's a little bit shinier anyway. But yeah, this is today's outfit of the day. This is basically, like I said, an outfit vlog because I have not been showing much else other than you saw we set up our coffee bar with our pieces from Potter's Garden earlier, and that's pretty much all that I filmed all week decided to do some cleaning. These are some of my childhood toys and I think it's time to part with them even though it's kind of hard. Um, as you can see they're pretty dirty. These came out of our old house and now they've been sitting in a tub on my porch for a long time and I've been watching episodes of Hoarders so I think it's time to let these go. It's Friday afternoon. This is today's outfit of the day. Since it's about 70 degrees outside today, maybe 68 for the high, I can actually dress a little bit cooler. So I'm wearing a skirt with tights and then my new Christmas sweater that was gifted from Romway. And then as I said, I was going through boxes that I have had on the porch for a long time and then found a sterling silver necklace that I didn't know I had and I didn't even know was sterling silver. 
and then I looked at it and I polished it up and so now I have another one it, it came with a little bead on it um it's like a little snake chain and how cool is that so you get like rewarded for organizing and cleaning and stuff but yeah the funny thing is this had three little sterling silver flip-flop charms on it I don't know you know, I guess you'd have to, like, live by the beach or something and that really be a part of your life. Although, I have worn a lot of flip-flops. I do like to wear flip-flops in the summer a lot, but I don't think I want a charm with that. So, I took those off, but it has a sterling silver bead. I don't know that it really goes with my little moose, but uh, maybe I'll put a different charm on it at some point. But that's pretty cool. This is, like, fun. Going through old stuff, and I have a lot of old stuff to go through, so who knows what I'll be finding in the future. Here we have Vaughn's first ever eggnog. He made it all by himself, and we filled up this gallon container of eggnog. And I must say, it actually turned out pretty well. I guess we should probably include some links to the recipes. He used several different recipes to make this, but that is pretty awesome. The cool thing about it is he loves eggnog, so he can get it and make, I mean, he can make it all year round now. That's pretty awesome.